Hey guys, hey, this is Luke's Little Space. So today's video is going to be a little bit different. I am going to be showing you guys how to turn this with this little thing into something like this. So I'll be showing you how to make earrings and I'm not 100% sure on the earrings that I want to make because I have the variety. So I'm going to show you guys in the bags all of the jewelry that she had made, given me and stuff. So the first one is a bag of skulls. We got pink, purple, one yellow, one green, and then a black one, which is the one that I provided. And so we got skulls, which is really cool. Then we got these little beads, which I don't even know exactly what you would call them. But to me, they're a little bit Christmassy. And so I really like that. Then the next is, she ended up giving me two fish, and then I provided the two black ones. But these are actually fish, which is like, so cute to somebody who likes, you know, under the sea themed. Everything in here but the big green one she provided, and these are so beautiful. Uh, you might not be able to see because of the lighting, but there's flowers on them. Sorry, my friend uh, had messaged me saying that she would buy a pair. Then we just got these that remind me of like door handles or really bad bows. So, really bad bows. Then we got these, which are little circles, and then some of the stuff that I provided from the art class. These are so beautiful. Let me turn my light out real quick so you can see. Yeah, these are so cool. Okay, then the next set. I provided the red thing in there, the red heart. But we got those. I provided the blue thing, this thing, and then the black heart in the back. Then we got these, which... These little things right here are like really cool. I don't know what those are, but they're really cool. We got that. Then we got these little beads if you just want to go casual, you know, nothing too out of the ordinary. Then we got these, which these red ones, and then there's like these little circle ones. These red ones came from a necklace she gave me that wasn't completed, so I took them off and decided, hey, why not use them for my jewelry? Then we got these really beautiful green ones. I don't know if you can see. Sorry, I turned my light out to see if you can see better. But they are so sparkly. But last and not least, one of my favorites that's going to be harder to figure out exactly how to make it into the earring are these rocks. These are so beautiful. These are so pretty. And so that is all the jewelry she gave me. And then I got these little clippers so I can turn and do what I need to do. I don't know if they cut. No, they don't cut. Okay, so then she gave me those. And then I got these, which are what to put the earrings on. And then this is what you put on. So that you can put the hoop in your ear. So you can put the earring in your ear. Okay, now I need to find these. Okay, so. So you can see it better. This is what you need. And it has this at the end. A little hook. So you need something in this kind of realm. It can be just a plain long silver one that doesn't have a little hoop. But having that little hoop makes it so much easier in case you want to be able to add a dangly on it you know make it hang from your ear a little bit longer and I just want to let you guys know that this video might be in parts depending upon how long this video is filmed because I can only do a certain amount of that time so let's get started okay so the first thing you need to do is you need to look at all of your jewelry so you want to take your jewelry and to see, you know, which ones you want to use. And then you want to keep those bags near you. 
Okay, I think I'm gonna make a skull earring with the skull. And then I'm gonna do that bag. And I think we're gonna do this bag. Okay, so now that you got all those, whoops. Okay guys, now that you have your materials, which are the two little things so you can put your earring on, this so you can hook it into the ear, and then you need this so you can fold and that, then, how many bags you need to make your earrings. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to pick out skulls. I think we're going to go with the purple skulls. So if you're not good at making earrings and you want to partner with someone, oh, I'm on you now right now, just so you guys know. So what you do is, is you can pick out the jewelry and have the other person make it, and it's like you've helped make it because you picked out the jewelry, you know, colors and whatnot. Okay. Okay, good. It was just my black one. Trying not to lose any of the earring she pieces she gave me because the lady was nice enough to give them to me. Okay, so now that you got that, put that aside. Hi guys, I'm making a YouTube video currently right now while well, I'm currently live at younow.com forward slash broken dot ashes dot and dot diamond. Okay, so then you want to look at these and see. Okay, so I'm going to use some red pieces, but we're going to do this one first. Okay, let's see if this will even work. Because these are so tiny. Oh, it does. Okay. I didn't think I could actually put it through the earring. Okay, so what we're doing is you're going to take your jewelry and you're going to stick it through to at least see if it fits through. Okay, and it does. Then you want to do the same thing with the other one. Actually, here's what we're going to do. Let's get a couple of the red out. Okay, if the other earring parts come out, we're just going to lay them down on the table for now. Okay, then you want to lay them on the table and figure out. Okay, so we're actually going to put, so you're going to take it, you're going to take some red, you're going to put two red. It's okay if you actually end up not using all of the bags you picked, but you want to do somewhat. Okay, so we got that. And then that's it. And then you're going to take this. And then you're going to take your hoop after you you got that little hook like you're going to kind of like you're making a charm if you can make a charm it's kind of the same concept of making a charm okay so then you want to Okay, this is the harder part. Getting the hoop thing to stay and being able to press it down for me. See? You can tell that even though I know what to do, I still have trouble. I'm just gonna lay you there for now. Okay, and I'm gonna press you down. Okay, so you're gonna press it down and hold it for a few seconds. 
Okay. Okay, you might want to check on it and be like, I don't really trust it. And see, I have a hard time even with this. But I'm glad I have this tool. And then there's an earring. Okay, so then now what you're doing is you're going to repeat. This took me, what, about an hour to learn how to make? Whoops. That's okay if you drop an earring piece, like... That's why you want to have a ton of the same. But not going to lie, I have a hard time with my fingers sometimes. With some of these jewels. Okay, so then you're going to put your... your thing on there you're gonna bend your, your earring now these don't have to be exactly even with the fold You know, because you're not going to always get it the same length, same kind of fold. Okay, guys, to get a better view, I'm going to go closer to my face. I'm going to show you the pair of earrings. So you see the back, it's a skull. So it is a purple skull with just a light red well like a dark red on it and that's how you make earrings so I will be doing like part one part two and a part three on how to make different kinds of earrings but this is little Luke signing off and have a great whatever day you're watching this and I'll see you guys next time